When Curiosity landed on Mars in 2012, work began on the next Mars rover mission. Though Perseverance looks similar to Curiosity, it's a big step forward in technology and in our goals for Mars exploration. First, there was a lot to learn from Curiosity, both from its scientific mission and from how the rover performed on the surface. The engineers at JPL noted that Curiosity's wheels were sustaining damage from sharp rocks, so they got to work designing new wheels for Perseverance. And as Curiosity returned data to Earth, it provided information that helped shape the mission goals of Mars 2020. From here, JPL scientists and engineers designed the technologies they wanted to have on Perseverance, technologies to look closely at rock samples and to stash the most interesting ones, to look underground, to test the air, and to see every part of the environment around the rover. They built and tested these technologies, Sherlock, Rimfax, Meta, and they integrated them into Perseverance. On July 30th, the Mars 2020 mission was ready to go. And lift off. The spacecraft lifted off the pad at Cape Canaveral, Florida, and began its nearly seven-month journey to the Red Planet. The Atlas V rocket lifted the payload into space and separated, completing the launch part of the mission. Now it was on its way, the cruise phase. The launch date was not picked randomly. Every 26 months, there is an optimal window when the trip to Mars is the most efficient. What we see here is a transfer orbit, a planned path between two moving objects, Earth and Mars. The spacecraft is traveling at about 50,000 miles per hour, or over 80,000 kilometers per hour. Because we know the exact distance, trajectory, and speed, we already know that we will land on Mars on February 18th. As we get closer to Mars, the cruise phase ends and the approach phase begins. On February 18th, we will begin entry, descent, and landing. Every part of this is autonomous. No human is controlling the landing. First, we jettison the cruise stage, which we brought all the way to Mars but don't need anymore. Now our craft looks more like the capsules that return to Earth. And even though the atmosphere is thinner on Mars, entry is still hot and dangerous. The capsule has to turn to an entry attitude, turning the heat shield to enter the atmosphere safely. Once we're inside the atmosphere, the goal is to slow down, which isn't easy in a thin atmosphere. Automated programming prepares for the jettison of the heat shield. Then the parachute is deployed. This slows things down a lot more. The heat shield is released. The surface of Mars is approaching quickly. Then the back shell and parachute is jettisoned and retro rockets fire. Our descent has now slowed to a manageable speed. The camera searches for the correct place to touch down. Once ready, the sky crane activates, lowering the rover to the ground. Once sensors indicate that the rover is safely on the surface, the descent stage separates and does a flyaway, crash landing far away from the rover. And here we are on Mars.